Hello chess friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you a beautiful chess format game, Magnus and Hikaru together play against me. Sometimes Hikaru plays wrong move in chess but if Magnus plays the right move then the computer will play Magnus Carlsen's move. And if Magnus play wrong move but Hikaru finds best move, then the computer will play Hikaru's move. And if both play a good move then the computer with the better move will play its move. We have Magnus Carlsen from Magnus Series Application and Hikaru from Chess.com website. They have white pieces because white have slightly advantages in the first move. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet. What are you doing, huh? Subscribe the channel with a beautiful comment, like and share. Let's go, Hikaru chooses to play e4, Magnus says, okay alright. c6, Hikaru wants c4. But Magnus played d4, because d4 have more winning rate than c4. I played d5. Knight c3. d takes c4. Knight takes e4. Bishop f5. Knight g3. Bishop g6. White have many lines here, you can play bishop c4, knight f3, or h4. Hikaru wants h4, but Magnus played better opening knight f3. Knight d7. Bishop d3. e6. Castle. Knight gf6. Hikaru wants c3, try to build a pawn chain, Magnus said no, bishop f4 by Magnus. c5, try to opening up the position. They chooses to play bishop c4. Better move was bishop e5, pinning the knight, d5 and knight e5, creating pressure on d7 knight. c takes d4. Knight takes d4. Bishop c5. They chooses to play bishop takes e6, which is an inaccuracy move. Better move was c3, supporting the knight position or knight b3, targeting the bishop, so the queen will get open file. But my students played bishop takes e6. There is a little tactics, you can't take the bishop with your pawn. Let me show the variation, if f takes e6 happen. Knight takes e6, targeting both of these pieces. Queen goes to b6. Knight c7 check, you will lose your rook, nothing big. Rook e1 check is a threat. Your king will be little weak. But black is totally fine here. Back to the position, I played knight f8, targeting the bishop, so you have to move your bishop. Bishop c4. Queen takes d4. Bishop b5 check. I want you guys pause the video and find the brilliant move for me, go. Ok, time up. If you think knight fd7, then you're wrong, let me show the variation. Rook e1 check. King f8. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. Rook a d1, creating multi-layer attack on the knight with bishop and rook. After, bishop moves to anywhere, I will lose my knight. So, in this position, I played extraordinary move king e7. You might think the king is very exposed, and an king can be targeted very easily. But it's not. Rather than hiding the king there, I played king e7, because king is totally fine here, surrounded by his trusted friends. And during the end game you have to take your king out, so I said why not now. Queen f3. Queen d5. Queen e2 check. Queen e6. Queen f3. Queen d5. Queen e2 check, they don't want to exchange their powerful piece. Queen e6. Queen f3, they kept their powerful piece because they thought my king was exposed and could be attacked. I played queen b6, I don't want to draw this game because I know I am winning. Magnus wants bishop c4, Hikaru plays best move a4. Knight e6. 
b4, bishop d4, c3, bishop takes c3, queen takes c3, knight takes f4, rook a d1, rook hd8, rook fe1 check, king f8, queen e5, knight 4 d5, Hikaru and Magnus played rook d4, mistake. Best move was knight f5, try to go knight to e7. They didn't find it. Rook d4 by both of them. a6. Bishop e2. Rook e8, targeting the queen and the rook at the same time. The rook is protected by the queen, if the queen moves, the rook becomes unsupported. So, they played a5. Queen takes b4. Queen takes e8, check. Rook takes e8. Rook takes b4. Knight takes b4. Rook a1. Knight c6. h3. Rook e5. f4. Rook c5. Bishop f3. Knight takes a5. King h2. Bishop c2. My students, I am putting background music, enjoy. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.